Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be looking at how to get every available alchemy form in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So the first thing we need to do is grab ourselves a Milsery, which is the pre-evolution of alchemy. Now you want to head to Tuffield and make your way up to Route 4 and you can search in the tall grass in this area. What you want to be looking out for is the exclamation marks as this Pokemon doesn't appear in the overworld, only spawning in the exclamation mark so as you can see we've got one on our screen right now and once you've caught your milsery what you can do is catch a bunch of these pokemon or breed a lot of them because there are 70 alchemy forms in pokemon sword and shield yes 70 forms not all of them are available just yet but we'll go through all of the available forms within this guide and show you how to get them so once you've got your alchemy for just examples in this guide, I'm going to be actually breeding a bunch of Milsery. So I've taken my Milsery to the nursery center here on Route 4 and I've put it in with a ditto. Now there are five items that you're going to be looking for within the game. There is the Strawberry Sweet, the Berry Sweet, the Love Sweet, the Clover Sweet and the Flower Sweet. Unfortunately, right now the Star Sweet and the Ribbon Sweet are not available in game. These are going to be event items later on in the year. Hopefully we will get them at some point and as you can see, I was quite lucky when breeding my milsery i actually got a shiny one which is amazing so we'll be able to see the shiny form evolution in this video which is going to be really exciting now i spent a little bit of time and made sure that i got a bunch of perfectly iv'd pokemon here to evolve into alchemy if you want to check out my perfect iv guide it is linked right now in the top right hand corner i'll take you through all the steps with how to do that now the next step is to get these items what you need to do is visit one of three cafes within the Galar region. Now the first one we're going to go to is Motostock and you can see we're here now. Once inside the cafe there's a little trick because these are daily events. What you want to do is turn on the time skip glitch. Well, to do this you can go to your victory station in your home menu and what you want to do is connect to the internet then go into ranked battles. It has to be a ranked battle. I know I've covered this in previous videos but just for the sake of this guide I'm going to go through it again. So once you're in a rank battle, it doesn't matter. You can go into singles or doubles. Either one doesn't matter. Now, you just want to search for an opponent. Once you have your opponent, you just want to go into the game as normal. Select any Pokemon because you can either complete the battle if you would like or the quicker way to do it is just to run and then this will activate the glitch so as you can see we're going into the battle now the first thing we are going to do is not even battle just for the the example here to speed things up for this guide we are just going to run from this battle and funny enough it's exactly what our opponent is going to be doing as well so we actually end up with a draw in this match now i know some people don't agree with this method because it messes up the online scene but honestly doing this you're very early on in the ladder and all you're doing is giving your opponent a win if you rank up a little bit you're not going to be bumping into people that are doing this i just use my single ladder because i haven't played on that at the minute and once you've done that, you want to come out of the screen and then go into the first match. You want to talk to the chef behind the till here and he will ask you if you want to battle. Now, these are the NPC characters that do give you the items. Unfortunately, the items are a bit random, so you're not going to be guaranteed to get one of the sweets every time you battle these guys. And this is why I'm saying use this glitch, because once you beat them, you'll be able to very quickly see what you're going to be able to get as a reward for this particular battle and rather than wait 24 hours what you can do is activate the glitch which is now on and then battle him again and just grind out getting these items so you can see here our first one we get a sachet which is no good so what we want to do is hit that home menu we're now using the glitch come down to our system down to date and time make sure synchronized clock is off just knock the date forward one and come back into the game and as you can see a day has passed and we can battle this chef once again so we're going into another battle we'll just cycle through these and you can see we're going to get another treat and this time we do actually get a berry sweet so there's the first one off the list which is brilliant so that is one item down now we can do the glitch once again making sure that we are just going down to system date and time and then moving our date forward clicking ok coming back into the home menu back into the game and then you can see we can cycle through another day and it's very quick to do this now i did this for maybe about an hour tops through all three different 
cafes that are available in Sword and Shield and managed to get all the items that I needed. Unfortunately at the time I wasn't aware that the Star Suite and the Ribbon Suite weren't actually available in game. Now they are programmed into the game so they are there but the data miners have discovered these items aren't obtainable yet. So do not grind like I did because I grinded for about another two to three hours on top of the initial hour that I did for the suites and I just didn't get them. So I did a bit of research and found out that the star and the ribbon suites are not available. Now we're hopping over to the next cafe, which is in Hammerlock. You can see you can come up to the chef again do the same process in here now we're not needing to do the glitch again because the glitch is still active from that first time we've done it remember if you do close your game down or if you do go online to do any sort of online battles or anything like that it will stop the glitch from working so you need to be aware that the glitch it, it's still in effect but you can knock it off and if you do knock it off just go through the same process again go into a ranked battle just run and then come out and then the glitch will be active so you can just cycle through these daily events and I think for all the daily events that we've got this is probably one of the most convenient ones to do it so you can see we get another suite we get the love suite this time which is a second one on our list so that will give Alchemy a different form again and then we'll head up to the final cafe out of all three which is based in Winden so there is three cafes as I say there is one in Motorstalk there is one in Hammerlock and the final one as we're going to head to now is in Winden so we'll just head up there and remember that the glitch is still in effect now if you don't want to use the glitch it will take you a little bit longer but you can just go and visit three cafes every day and hope that you're lucky enough to get the sweets that you want there are five obtainable in the games right now like i've said the star suite and the ribbon suite are not available there's the flower suite that we've got so we've got two more to get the strawberry suite and which other one is it let's see we'll probably see it in a second there's the strawberry suite and i think the final one that we need is the clover suite i'm pretty sure yeah and there we go so i've just cycled through and like i say it took me about an hour of just cycling through the the cafes just doing it with the glitch which makes it a lot easier and as you can see here we've got the love suite the berry suite the clover suite and the flower suite with that strawberry suite on top now we've got our milseries already prepared that we did earlier and all we need to do now is evolve them so for this first one all we need to do is get the vanilla cream form which is with the strawberry suite you want to spin clockwise quickly in the day so just one or two rotations here and your milseries will evolve so as we can see milseries is evolving and depending on what suite you've got with the milsery, it'll give you a different alchemy. So you can see we've got the strawberry suite here. Uh, even though this is the same form, you can put the berry suite on it and get the same form but with the berries on. So the, the suite will dictate what kind of item the alchemy has on its head. So you can see here's the, the clover suite. We had the berry suite just before there. We've got the flower suite right now, but they are all the same form. So they're all that same vanilla form right now because we're using that one technique to spin on the top. And all you need to do is use your D-pad, just spin it round clockwise. Obviously make sure that you're doing it the right way at the right time of day because there are dependent factors depending on how what form you would like. We'll go through them right now. So I'm gonna actually go for the rainbow form right now. And what you need to do is set your clock. You don't need to do a glitch or anything for this. Just come into your home menu, just change your clock. You can do this. So you wanna be going for between seven and eight o'clock for the rainbow form. So you want to just come out once you've set that and you want to spin anti-clockwise for at least 10 seconds. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Just to be sure we're spinning for a lot longer, but just to be sure that we are spinning for 10 seconds or more. That's what you want to be doing anti-clockwise between the times of 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. And there you go. You're gonna get yourselves that rainbow cream or rainbow swirl alchemy. So there we go. Um, you can do this for the ruby swirl. You wanna be spinning anti-clockwise for five seconds or more in the day. Make sure you don't go over 10 seconds though. And then we will get this ruby cream. And as you can see, and it's a different form. And 
as I say at the start, the, the forms are all kind of dictated by how you spin and form this evolution method, but the sweets are the one things that really kind of give it that different identity. Here we've got the clove sweet on it rather than the berry or the, the, the strawberry. And now we're going into the ruby cream form, which is spinning anti-clockwise quickly in the day. So this will give you a different form again. And depending on what sweet you have, it will give you a different alchemy. So as I say, this is the ruby cream form. And this one's pretty nice. This one's pretty nice. The next one we're going to look at, we need to make it at evening, so nighttime. I'm not 100% sure on when nighttime is classified in the games, but just to be sure, I've set my clock here to 10 p.m. at night, and it seems to turn it into nighttime. We're going for the maca cream form, which is the first one. Uh, we want to spin clockwise quickly at night, so this one's a nice and easy one. So clockwise quickly at night will give you that matcha form, and it's a nice green form of alchemy again doesn't matter what sweet you've got on the alchemy it will just kind of change depending on what your sweet is holding if you've got the clove you can see here we've got the cloves if you've got the berries you'll have the berries the strawberries etc the mint cream form is spinning anti-clockwise for five seconds at night so you want to be one two three four five making sure that you do that i kind of like the mint cream form it's a it's a really nice shade and i really like this and the salted cream form i think they're probably my two favorite alchemy forms because I just like the white form that we get here and you can see it's got those flecks of, of green running through it for the mint form here's the lemon cream form again at night you want to spin clockwise for five seconds at night so just making sure that you are counting when you're spinning in the right direction all done with your d-pad all you need to do like I said before is just make sure that you're you're spiraling it round and round and your character will spin and just keep doing it to prolong the length of how long you need to do it so there's the lemon cream form next one we're going to look at is one of my favorites if not probably my favorite the salted cream form anti-clockwise quickly at night so you don't need to be doing it for any amount of time you just need to be doing it the once one spin around once you've done that and uh, you're going to get the salted cream form like i say this is probably my favorite form i think it's really simple but the white's kind of nice and then with the the flowers as well it looks pretty cool so the next one we're going to look at is the caramel swirl form which is spinning clockwise for five seconds in the day so we want to be making sure that we are spinning for that amount of time once again and this will give you the caramel swirl form which is another one i don't mind actually i think this one's kind of cool as well it's got that kind of caramelly look about it which is cool and uh, that will wrap up all the different forms uh, techniques that you can do for all alchemy forms obviously each different form depending on your the spins that you do the time of day uh, for how long you do it will dictate what form it turns into and each form can be a different sweet as well so the strawberry the berry the love the clover and the flower sweet and to end the video we are going to end up with an evolution of our shiny milsery here so we're going to get to see what shiny alchemy looks like and to be honest i've kind of reset my game quite a few times just to see the different forms of the shiny alchemy form and they all pretty much look the same other than what sweet they're holding so this is the shiny version it's kind of cool it looks nice it's got that gray running through it but uh, that wraps up the video my friends i really hope you've enjoyed the episode hope you found it useful and you have a lot of success in evolving your own mill series and getting that alchemy form that you want do drop a like on the video make sure you do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and i will see you all for another one very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye